hi hi um thank you for tuning in on this vlog this vlog was meant to be uh, my journey back into fitness but i decided against that i don't have a particular reason why but i think it's because i didn't want to just be filming like the same things and then making one video about me going to the gym me having my pre um workout things and whatnot anyway so i'm back at the gym i started last week um you will see clips after this intro i went back to the gym you know had fun i'm just exploring one thing about me i'm not really good with gym equipment but when i'm at the gym i try my best i dance i laugh at myself i copy other people i ask people for help that's just how i go to the gym i just go there and play with the weights play with the machines until i get my groove but i know that my posture and my endurance improve the more i go to the gym so in a few months i know i'll, I'll be getting the postures right i'll be i'll be seeing the results and what's so not so i'm not really concerned about it so don't let it bother you when you when i add clips and you can see that the posture is wrong um don't worry about the posture don't worry about it it's gonna get it's gonna be fixed it's gonna be attended to as time goes by so um yeah that's i went back to the gym because my mental health needs it i need to get out of the house because i'm always home i tend to overthink i tend to my mood just tends to be somehow i'm always exhausted because if you're always home you know that you always feel like you need to be doing something productive to like show that you are also an active participant in this life thing so i go to the gym that one hour 30 minutes out of my house it just does wonders for my mind does wonders for my heart and my body is benefiting at the same time so that's great um also because i i love the weight that i'm that i have i think I, the last time I, I did a weight check-in, I was a 68.8, but I'm pretty sure I've passed that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm heavier than that. Uh, so I, I went back to the gym also because, you know, I don't want to lose weight. I don't want to be skinny again. I was skinny my entire life before I turned 26. And no, I don't want to be skinny again. I don't want to lose weight. I just want to, like, tone up, I guess, because they're just, like, my thighs, the cellulite is too much for me. I don't mind cellulite, but the one that I have right now is just too much. And I'm conscious about it, so it, it's affecting my confidence. So I'm going. I want to work on my thighs. I don't like my boobs because my boobs are saggy. So I know that when I'm doing a lot of cardio, then my boobs get like not perky perky, but I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah, they are just nicer boobs, you know. And the belly area, honestly, I I I know that. I salim cover at this point i think it's just that my uterus is stretched and i didn't tie it right after giving birth because because i had a c-section and i was not and i am not comfortable with belly binding i just i don't know it just to me it just i can't fathom like i can't bring myself to do it so yeah and also because i've been eating a lot of sugar so yeah it might also be a little bit of makaba in there so I just want to go to the gym and just to get this area tight i don't think it's gonna be flat i don't think it's gonna be flat and i'm not one person to go on a diet because the honest truth is that abs are made in the kitchen and not in the gym and i want to eat my shrimp and eat my chips so i just wanted to you know which are an inch right now my tummy is a 60 no sorry it's at 82 centimeters i did a working measure it it's 82 centimeters so if by winter at least give them a 75 that's good but we'll see so i'm um yeah guys hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm not sure what i'm gonna be doing because it was supposed to be a fitness thing but now i'm making it an overall weekly vlog but anyway um i will show with in terms of meals now because i'm going back to the gym i'm not going on a diet because i know it won't last so i'll still be eating what i'm eating my pap i'll never give up up guys never i'll still eating be eating my pap my chips and my veggies here and they'll be having a balanced diet as per usual but i need to cut back on sugar because that one will give me let me show you you see my hands do you see my hands you see my hands like kurwa no sugar you see the extras is sugar so i need to give up sugar for a while so that don't they like sugar but just 
the chocolates you know the donuts you know the muffins the cakes i need to go down go low on that one the, sh the juices and all that i need to drink my water eat my fruit for sugar so yeah nana is sleeping i need to quickly send out an email and then take a bath and then we need to go out because i think she's starting to teeth because she's biting on us a lot so i need to go get her a teething gel and don't don't and then i also need to get her some clothes but before you see all those clips i'm gonna go ahead and insert my gym clips somewhere here and pictures and enjoy the gym stuff and then after that we're gonna get into the rest of the vlog don't forget guys please subscribe to this channel on this channel we bang with content <laughs> yes guys please subscribe to my channel please leave a comment even if it's just an emoji and if you don't want to leave a comment that's fine please like the video so that youtube can recommend it to other kids i uh, i really want to get to 1000 subscribers by our second anniversary which is the 29th of may this year so i'm really really working hard to put out content making sure that we reach that goal and i think after that i'm gonna take a one month break i know when you take a break youtube just goes way back but i feel like i need a break because i can't just be working on autopilot so please do the most by liking commenting and sharing this video with other kids i'll see you guys later
take us but he had a work call so he left um i'm going with nani i put her in this carrier she's facing forward because now she's bigger and she's a little heavier so it's much easier for me to have her facing there i know that she's gonna grab stuff but if she gets trouble somehow just put her face facing my chest but anyway let's go my uber is here mama Mama, Mama, hey Mama, hey Deka, hey Deka. Um, we are back home. Um, Nani is sleeping, so I'm gonna quickly show you what I bought um at the mall. Yo, before that, that mall is so big it's huge and it's too full i mean it's a weekday i don't understand why i'm on this for on a weekday it is packed 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 i don't think i'm gonna be going there often because it's just too much i only went today because i went to the desk because the local the nearest clicks that never was looking for i was looking for teething gels because nanny is um starting to bite on us and her Gums are getting really like ripe for teeth, I think. But also, kids are expensive. Do you see this small tub? It looks like a lipstick. This thing is 55 friends. 55 friends. This very small tub. It says three months plus, not medicated, uh, formula, soothing teething gel with organic licorice. licorice whatever and marshmallow so directions use your hands and apply on your finger blah 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 so guys this thing is 54 and kids are expensive for people that don't work you know. and then while i was looking for this one i was looking for teething gels in general and then this other lady came in she recommended that i get this one um this one is you are not to pronounce it guys but it's also for teething it's a soothing gum massage gel chamomile extract um this one i also think it's also around like it's like 45 rands i think yeah i think this one is like 45 rands but still it's a small tab now guys jonga like look at how tiny Look at how tiny this is. <sighs> Kids are expensive. What? These small things, these two things cost me over 100 rands. These two things. But, anyways, it's all tiny. We are the ones who chose to have kids here. Kids tell me that's just one thing. 
but not like bad bad for me i feel like not bad bad because eh, let's not get into that topic um i also got her the baby things teeth water filled soother i think it's called a soother yeah, it's a soother so as you can see so this one from the instructions they say you must wash it and then put it in the fridge you must always put it in the fridge so another thing that i went to do was to get my kids clothes at the mall um you, they just need like a smaller than a top up i did lay by go i can just you guys know but i just needed to get me a few things that they can wear now so i got my this set it's not a, like it's a two-piece but it's a my it's a matter one one so their pants were 30 rents and the um, vest is 30 rents as well i love this kind of sets because mommy doesn't go anywhere so she doesn't need like clothes that look extravagant she just needs and she just needs clothes and then i got this rumba which was 150 i got her one because she still has uh rumbas and i did the late buy but i'm gonna take it out before the three months lapses um because yeah i can only wear my three months yes i got her this baby rumba it looks really nice and then i got little little this two piece so the original price of the two piece was 120 but i got it at 490 rand it's basically a it's pants sorry it's pants and a top so it's like you're an easy going like for weathers like now today it's not really, really cold but it's not hot you can't wear summer clothes but you can't be wearing like cold sorry clothes and everything i will plan it because i'm a planner girl so i got her this set for clothes and then i wanted to force, i had to force my trust i don't know if this is gonna fit little, but i got this set so this set for nana was it was 90 rands and then for ceci clothes okay it was also 90 rands so i want my kids to match <laughs> my mom did this all the time with me and my younger sister my younger sister and i are seven years apart but we always match, especially on Sundays, and we really loved it. We really, really enjoyed looking like twins, even though we were years apart. So I want to do that with my kids. I got this set for Mama, guys, three to six months, and then I got this set for Little Toka, eighteen to four twenty-four. I know Little is turning four this year, but she's very tiny. She's not like a big girl, so I think they even look biggish for Little. So I got her this pants and like this said really yeah so and so this top uh, she's gonna try them when she comes back from school i really hope they fit her because they my babies and i'm itch and i'm gonna take pictures so yeah guys that's all i got for the kids um i didn't get myself anything because while we're at spur you know they do the birthday singing thing so their music was quite loud and caught my me off guard and she cried a lot so i couldn't enjoy my meal i ate fast fast so i came back with like a doggy bag but i'm gonna give girls when she comes back from school to nibble on while i cook supper this is not my week to cook it's actually happy's week to cook but he went out on a call and i know he's gonna be exhausted exhausted when he comes back so i don't mind cooking today and then he'll just pick up for the rest of the week so uh i'm gonna cook with you guys i'm trying a new recipe from the lazy makoti book that i recently bought and yeah i'm gonna cook with you guys and see how it goes i'll see you guys in a few welcome to my kitchen cooking with me listen this year i'm learning how to cook guys this year i'm being intentional about cooking eh? so firstly i'm going to uh, boil this country vegetables from movies i've already boiled my water so i'm going to add salt i, I usually i find that when you serve in, while the water is boiling your veggies taste better than when you your veggies taste better than when you serve them after i don't know if I'm, so, yeah. I'm gonna put this in here i need to find the lead actually um this is the lazy makoti book that i'm going to be using i wanted to cook this let me show you i wanted to prepare the Bravo's meatballs in Ushatini tomato and don't don't this. 
but i realized that i don't have tomatoes so i'm just gonna do meatballs without the um, tomatoes i'll see how i improvise but most of the seasoning i have and i'm gonna just use fresh milk i don't have coconut milk so i just hope it comes out better this year i'm learning how to cook a fit so i hope it's gonna be a beautiful mess cooking time is 40 minutes yeah like sun so, so here are the ingredients that i'm going to use i have my onion there's a sugar i have my long life full cream milk but the recipe says coconut milk i have garlic powder they say it's fresh powder i have salt and i have turmeric and then these are beef stocks so i'm going i don't know if i'm going to use all of them or one and then obviously they say um oil and also where's the where's the meat, where's the meat? <gasps> anyway then okay this is the meat i'm going to use the, the voice i'm going to use so i need to take out the voice from the skin and don't 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 and mix with the spices so yeah let's get cooking hey <laughs> So let me come here and close this vlog because yesterday I cooked and then I didn't finish finish up. I was exhausted at that point. But anyway, the recipe came out so well. Um, it tasted so good. They say so. I haven't had, I didn't have supper because lately I realized that I can only have two meals a day. So I'm probably going to have the leftovers. I'm probably going to have the leftovers for breakfast. So yeah. But happy says it came out nicely. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much. Bye.